ICP told this story. I guess your boy, Evan Courageous, was back. Yeah, boy. He was backstage. He went up to shake Goldberg's hand. And Goldberg, I guess, was fondling around with his balls, as sometimes I guess guys do when they're just sitting around in their sweatpants. And Goldberg reached out his hand to shake it. And Evan's like, whoa, thanks, but no thanks, buddy. And the way that the insane clown posse tells the story is that Goldberg just picked him up by the throat and kind of chucked him. Did Evan ever tell you anything about this? Yeah, he mentioned that to me. I want to say that that was the time I was in the company, but I just hadn't made it to the building yet or something uh, because I was there when ICP was there. Um, and I remember, I mean, it was kind of like that. Evan said something, you know, but Evan wasn't being, Evan was just being funny. Like, hey, man, you know, you can't shake my hand when you just scratch the balls, you know? I mean, nothing like that should have been offensive, but, uh, you know, <laughs> Bill Bill didn't have the longest of tempers, if you uh, if you understand what I'm saying. So, he, uh, yeah, apparently that's just what I heard that, too. He just grabbed him and kind of pushed him down, choked him a little, choked him by the neck or something like that. Not not that anybody threw punches or anything, but, um, you know, I mean, Bill's a great big guy doing that to somebody oh, yeah. that's 175 pounds, 180 pounds, you know. So, uh, but then again, if he thought that uh, Evan was disrespecting him, you know, um, Sometimes you take what you get when it comes to being disrespectful, but I don't think Evan was meaning to be disrespectful. I think it was just a, uh, you know, something got lost in translation. And and as I sure. said earlier, he wasn't known for his diplomacy. I want to know your feelings on the handshake deal because the handshake deal is a recurring theme in these backstage fights. Like, it seems like that fuels a lot of stuff. What is your policy with – the the handshake backstage whenever you're arriving leaving whatever it may be it was uh it was never a problem for me you know because uh you know i go up and say hey to everybody anyway you know i was never one of these guys that i'm not going to go say hey to people and i've already introduced myself so you know i'm gonna go sit over here in a fucking corner or something like that so you know and i wanted to meet the top guys and i wanted to talk to them so for me that was never an issue you know and and once it was uh, explained to me, even the first time that there's a kind of a respect thing involved, I was like, okay, cool. You know, it's not that big of a damn effort to go shape somebody's hand. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, so the guys that have a problem with it, it's always some kind of weird, you know, uh, passive aggressive ego thing on their part. Like, you know, I'm too good to shake hands or, you know, I mean, maybe they're just, they are insecure, but, you know, you got to suck that shit up. You know, I mean, if you're going to fit into a locker room and you're going to be working with a lot of guys who, you know, at some point, uh, you know, your life could be in their hands. And even if it's production people, I man, I talk to everybody. You know, I, I talk to the camera crews, the sound guys. And I want to know who everybody is. So, you know, do I think you got to do it every single day? No. You know, but the beginning of the loop, you know, just go up, say hey to everybody. And at the end of the loop, you know, you go say bye to everybody. Um, say say a no Josh Barnett shows up and he's not shaking hands. What happens there? Does he get heat? This is the name I'm throwing out. He, I, I have no reason to believe that he didn't. It's just a name I threw out. Or the, and or, or sometimes do people come in and do you see them seeking out people to make sure that they've shaken hands so they don't get heat? Um, I mean, I definitely seen that people seek, seeking out people to shake hands. But I think like uh, I've always been a little open minded when it comes to like new people in the business that might not know these rules. So I don't hold steadfast to that. You know, like if. Uh, somebody brand new to the business is coming in and if they don't walk around and do it and uh, shake everybody's hand, it's not nothing that they're going to get heat with me about, but I am going to wonder why are they, you know, not trying to meet the people they're going to be working with, you know, do they have any real interest in being there? You know I mean? That kind of says something about the person, you know, um, but you won't get heat from me for it. But, you know, if, if you got somebody and they week after week after week, they just kind of, hang and stay to themselves, you know, people like that uh, don't really fit in a locker room environment. And you're going to want to fix that problem so that maybe you can help them out. And I've definitely went to people and and, and I told them, you know, hey, man, you might want to you might want to say hey to some people around here, you know, and, and uh, get to know people. But especially when you're on the road and you're traveling with people like, you know, you don't want to be around people you don't like. Nobody does. So it's just sort of that, you know, and I mean, I find it odd that somebody would want to be in a locker room and not know anybody. You know what I mean? So, I mean, if I got my gear laying around, you get naked in front of these people, like, I would at least want to know who that is, you know? I mean, I don't necessarily go try to shake hands when the package is hanging out, but, you know? 
<laughs> you want at least some comfort, you know, and some familiarity with the people that you're hanging around with. 